The S&P 500 rose to a fresh record as artificial intelligence darling NVIDIA continued its march to new highs, topping Microsoft as the most valuable public company. The broad market index rose 0.1%. The Nasdaq Composite and Dow Jones Industrial Average hovered near the flat line. You see investors trying to ride this train as long as they can with NVIDIA and the usual suspects, but now you also got those second-tier names participating," said Mahoney Asset Management's Ken Mahoney. Money isn't leaving the market, but I do sense a rotation out of the leaders for this quarter. NVIDIA jumped 3.8% to surpass Microsoft as the most valuable public company and continue its milestone run after topping a $3 trillion market cap and topping Apple in value earlier this month. The chipmaker has surged more than 170% since the start of the year as enthusiasm for AI shows no signs of dwindling. Some semiconductor stocks also rose in sympathy, with Qualcomm and Taiwan Semiconductor last up at least 3% each. Micron Technology gained 3.6%. The sector also caught a bid from declining treasury yields on the heels of weaker-than-expected retail sales report that spurred hopes for some economic slowing and Federal Reserve rate cut rates. Without the consumer, this bull market is going to stall out, so investors need to see more consumer spending and not a material slowdown, which this report could be indicating, said Chris Zaccarelli, Chief Investment Officer at Independent Advisor Alliance. Tuesday's moves follow a positive session on Wall Street that propelled the S&P and Nasdaq to all-time highs and record closing levels. David Costin, Goldman Sachs chief U.S. equity strategist, joined CNBC Tuesday morning to discuss his raised year-end expectations for the market. Costin told clients on Monday that he expects the S&P 500 to now conclude 2024 at 5,600, 400 points higher than he previously forecasted. This call is tied in part to rapid earnings growth for Microsoft, NVIDIA, Alphabet, Amazon, and Meta. The five companies are really driving the market, Costin said. It's really the story for this year. CNBC Pro subscribers got the inside scoop on Costin's call on Monday. Here's the stories you may have missed. Alex Herring over the past 20 sessions, seven have been positive for the S&P 500 despite the majority of member stocks finishing lower. That has happened just three times since 1990, according to Bespoke Investment Group. The last time more days in a period this long saw a divergence. August 2020, when Megacap Technology was believed to be a major beneficiary from the COVID-19 pandemic, per Bespoke. Alex Herring billionaire investor Steve Cohen's Point72 plans to launch a separate, artificial intelligence-focused hedge fund to capitalize on the boom, according to a person close to the firm's plans. The new long-slash-short equity fund, to be launched later this year or early 2025, will be focused on AI and AI-related hardware, the person said. The firm is aiming to raise $1 billion, with Cohen himself and Point72 employees expected to contribute, the person added. Cohen recently came out as a long-term AI bull. He has called AI a really durable theme for investing, comparing the rise to the technological developments in the 1990s. Yunli NVIDIA shares gained more than 3% to surpass Microsoft as the most valuable public company. The chipmaker's market value currently sits at roughly $3.3 trillion, following a 172% surge since the start of the year. NVIDIA first topped a $3 trillion market capitalization earlier this month and surpassed Apple in market value. Kif Leswing, Samantha Subin Federal Reserve Governor Adriana Kugler said Tuesday that she has confidence inflation is going to continue to move in the right direction and allow for a reduction in interest rates later this year. While I remain cautiously optimistic that inflation is coming down, it is still too high, and it is moving down only slowly. I believe that policy has more work to do, Kugler said in remarks delivered at the Peterson Institute for International Economics in Washington. I believe economic conditions are moving in the right direction. If the economy evolves as I am expecting, it will likely become appropriate to begin easing policy sometime later this year," she added. Jeff Cox here are the stocks on the move midday. Read the full list here. Sean Conlon shares of Cedar Fair and Six Flags rallied after the theme park operators announced their merger would finish July 1st. The company will operate under the name Six Flags Entertainment Corporation and use the ticker fund. Six Flags also announced Tuesday that it will issue a special dividend of $1.53 per share for investors who held the stock through the deal's closing. 
Cedar Fair shares climbed 7% in midday trading, while Six Flags added around 5%. Both touched new highs as excitement over the merger deal continued to drive investor interest.